number of the day, number of the day, which number will it be, number of the day? Look, you can see today's number is the number 11. Can you see where number 11 is on the number shapes? Here's the number 11. And if you look at the number, you can see this one means you need 110. And this one means you just need one more. One ones. One ten and one ones. That makes 11. Well done. OK, so let's find out what 11 is the same as. 11 is the same as oh, 10 fingers and one more. You might need someone to help you unless you use one of your toes. 11 is also the same when you're rolling dice. You can roll a six and a five and that makes 11. There's the number shapes again, a 10 and a one, or a one and a 10. And that's how you write 11. Now, can you think of a number that is fewer than 11? If you can imagine Think about a number track, all of the numbers that you say before you get to 11, they are fewer or less than. Can you think of one? I thought of seven. And if you think of where 11 is on a number track, all the numbers that come after 11, they are more than 11. They are numbers that are bigger. Can you think of a number that is bigger than 11? If I have 11 cakes and you have more, how many might you have? Maybe 70. That's a big number. OK. Our number of the day is 11. What is one less and one more than 11? Let's use a number track. OK, so if you think of the number 11, here it is. And if you do a jump down the number track, you get one less. And up you get one more. So I'm going to make that disappear and the number track too. Can you remember the number that is one less than 11? It comes just before 11 on the number track. <gasps> yes, number 10. So that's one less. But what's one more? If you have 11 and then you're given one more, how many do you have now? 12. Well done. Let's have a look at 10 frames. One, two, three, four. And one more makes five. Remember with 10 frames, when the top line is full, that's five. But we need to get to our number 11. Let's keep going. How many is that? How many now? <gasps> How many are there? Do we need to count them all? No, it's 10 and we don't need to count them because we can see each space on the 10 frame is full. So that must be 10. But our number, if you remember, when we were talking about our number shapes, was a 10 and then one for the ones. Look, that's 11, a 10 and one more. OK, this is the part, part, whole model. Let's put 11 into the top circle. That's the whole. 
Wow, that was quick. <laughs> That's 11. Now, when we do the part whole model as number of the day, we're always going to put 10 into one of the parts, which means the other part must be 1. So 11 is the whole, 10 is a part, and 1 is a part. You could think of 10, add 1 makes 11, or 1 and 10 more makes 11, or we started off with 11 and we took 10 away and then we ended up with 1, or we had 11 and we took 1 away and that would leave 10. If you drew your own part whole model and you put 11 counters as the whole, you can move your counters into the parts and see what other numbers add together to make 11, what other parts you could make. Have fun!